Hello everybody, I'm Yolanda, aka Creative Mommy of Two, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today, as you might see by the project I have laying in front of me, we are doing a women jet. So grab out whatever it is that is your work in progress, aka whip, and let's have a rumble, shall we? So first off, how are you all doing? I hope you had a wonderful week. My week was eventful and the usual at the same time. <laughs> so yeah, let's get into that. So where to start? Because my brain has already left the building, but what's new about that? <laughs> That's already the first color done. <laughs> Excuse me. Huh. That didn't work. I just need to grab a pen. So I wanted to say hold on, but I can just move because my pen is like a few meters over there. So I'm just going to grab it. And I'm already back. Because, yeah, apparently when I put my fingers on my container, this symbol rubbed off. That doesn't help. So, yeah, where to start, where to start? Obviously at the beginning, but where is the beginning today? <laughs> oh, need to open my second color. Also, don't mind my nails. I do need to remove the nail polish I put on last week, but yeah, haven't gotten around to it. So, sorry. My nails are a little bit of a uh, mess today. We haven't fe been feeling the greatest yesterday, so today I needed to play catch up a little bit. And yeah, for me that also means don't do my nails. <laughs> but yeah, let's think. Wednesday, what did happen on Wednesday last week? Not much. Hobby had work. Kids were off from school. You're still off from school this week. They're going back to school next week. And the husband then has a week off, so that's nice. Some time together. Um, we did do our date night. What did we watch? Oh yeah, we watched Wish. I was thinking like we did watch something on Disney Channel, but I couldn't remember what. But it was the movie Wish. It was quite entertaining. Not a kind of like, wow, I do need to look that more often, but it's like, huh, that was entertaining. Wouldn't be mad if I need to watch it again. Might not like it as much a second time, because probably it will be with the kids. And then we need to put it in Dutch audio. So. Or, well, we need to, the kids then better understand it. They do understand quite a lot of English. We often do put on programs they know in English. So they learn it already a little bit. But yeah, like a totally new movie might be a bit, bit too much. <laughs> Yeah, at least you know the beginning. <laughs> so on Thursday, then we had my husband and my son's birthdays, which we actually didn't do much for. Oh no, we did uh, move our date night to Thursday. I was thinking like, did we even on Wednesday watch something? It was on Thursday that we did do our date night. Because of the fact that 
my husband's birthday was on Thursday, so we're like, yeah, we can just move it, move it a day. So at least it's a little bit more special. We don't do gifts for each other, so most of the times it's like putting on some film or series and then have some nice time together. It's more like it. But I did bake brownies for a month together with my son. So like he had as his birthday treat, he could make brownies with me for my husband. And he got to bake with me because both of the kids love baking. So yeah, I was like, you know what? I'm going to bake with my son. Asked him if he wanted to, and he was like, yeah. So I was like, okay, nice. I had like a simple package, like only add water kind of thing. A little bit cheating, but hey, I still had it in the house. So why throw it out if I have it? We ended up eating french fries for dinner because our son picked that because most of the times we let the kids pick what they want to eat for dinner on their birthdays make them feel a little bit special don't know if they watched the movie they don't think so yeah they had fun they enjoyed themselves so that's nice. On Friday we went to a mall close to us. To be exact, Makado in Big. Dropped the kids off at like sort of like daycare thing they have there. And the kids were entertained. So that was nice. And then we could walk around quietly and have a nice time. Because we also didn't have, need to have anything for the kids. So we're like, yeah, why should we annoy them with them walking along with us if we can just drop them off, let them play for a bit. So they are entertained and happy. And we don't need to fuss at them. Because, yeah, let's be honest, little kids and going shopping. Not their favorite things. <laughs> Which I can understand. Because, like, be honest, if you need to shop for somebody else and don't need to look at anything for yourself, then it gets kind of boring. <laughs> Especially for kids. So yeah, we did that on Friday. We made pannenkoeke afterwards, so the kids were all so happy with dinner. <laughs> and it's somewhat easy. It's a Dutch version of pancakes. They're a little bit in between a pancake and a French crepe. So yeah. But the kids enjoy them, so. And it's a nice, easy meal. And on Saturday, we had a fun day. We had a family day with my side of the family, or at least my dad's side of the family. So we went to a place that had multiple stuff there. I do know they had a cart uh, a lane. They had... I do believe they also had like a karaoke, they, you could do a pinball there. Uh, no, not pinball, paintball. And yeah, they had all different kind of stuff. We had um, a sort of arrangement there. And we first, well, when we first got there, we 
just said at the like little eating drinking area they have there so we had a few of it. Uh, a drink which took actually like forever before they served you anything so that was the only downfall <laughs> then we played a round of glow golf so glow in the dark mini golf I was in a team with my daughter, my niece, and, well, my niece, my cousin. <laughs> I always forget that, like, niece, nephew are, like, your own sister's kids, and cousins are, yeah, your aunts and uncles' kids. But yeah, I had my cousin and the wife of another cousin. So we were the like girls team <laughs> the my dad and his brothers were one team like my aunts were one and my mom were one team and yeah me with my cousins and my husband with our son was we are the two cousins so like we split it up male against female almost <laughs> it was fun daughter enjoyed herself a lot even though she dragged the ball to the hole most of the times, but we're like, oh well. And we did a case of like, it's around that amount of hits. <laughs> we didn't care that much. But yeah, it was fun. So that's the most important thing. We had fun. We had like every few holes, they had like a different theme. So the first we had, it was all under C. That was the like overall theme. But then you had like a undersea Roman part, or like some Roman statues and stuff like that. They had like a, yeah, in general, underwater, well, I think it's more like a crab and lobster kind of something, because they all had traps and lobsters and even like a it was like a cage but I think it's like a trap catching trap thing that it's supposed to be so you had to like hit the ball from there it was quite hard missed the ball a few times but when I got hit it I hit it straight in one go so that was nice and it was kind of annoying because there were like, you need to hit it up a ramp and then into a net. But there was also a distance between the ramp and the net. So it's not like as long as you got it up the ramp that you were there. Because, yeah, you still had a little bit of distance to get over. It was at times kind of annoying. <laughs> and then there was also like a... North Pole, I think it was. It was like polar bears and stuff. I always forget if that's north or south. <laughs> I don't know why I can't remember it. It's not like it's so hard, but... Yeah, bring. <laughs> then there was like a part that felt like a little bit of like a western vibe. And then one was more like piracy well ship vibes they also had like part of a ship there like a small rowing boat that is <laughs> and some like barrels transport barrels and a few and a um, steering wheel i think it's also called on a ship and they had an anchor and stuff like that It was dressed up nice. Do know that our daughter had a blast. <laughs> Son, I'm not so aware of. I do know that, it's, like in the beginning, they were like straight in front of us. But we took long enough, so. <laughs> yeah, they were quite a lot faster. 
But what happened with the speed that we played, we had like many times like the areas to ourselves. So that was also nice because, yeah, there were multiple groups there. So not everybody that we not like all the 18 holes were just for our family. So there were multiple people, but at a certain point, I do know that my mom and my aunts were like somewhere close to us. And then a little bit later, we didn't know where they went. <laughs> But yeah, it was fun. So after that, we still had a little, we had again a little break. After that, we went to the prison island, which was a sort of escape room, but then a little bit different. Um, <laughs> we also needed to laugh. It wasn't that funny because it was raining cats and dogs. As we would say here in the Netherlands, it's hondeweer, it's dog weather, but it's the same like raining cats and dogs. But the fire alarm was went off. And we're just standing there at like the desk area for the prison islands. The guy working there was like checking us in, the groups and explaining and stuff. And then the fire alarm went off. Nobody moved. And so my uncle, who is also like a cop, was like, well, this is a fire alarm. Shouldn't we go out? And the guy there was like, oh, um, um, um. he was a little bit like umming and aahing. And we're like, yeah, let's just move out. And we'll see. So... We didn't see any fire, so we quickly grabbed our coats because it was awful weather. In the end, we decided to stay like somewhat indoors, like right in front of the door. So like, if we need to move out, we're out quickly. But yeah, so a little bit later, the alarm went off so we could go back. <laughs> like half an hour later, the alarm went again, but it was like, should we do something? Shouldn't we? So we don't... We stood still for a little bit. But after that, it was off pretty fast. So we're like, yeah, okay. <laughs> but yeah, so Prison Island was sort of an escape room, but at the same time not. How they said it, was a little bit confusing because my aunt who booked it said like it should be all ages so it should be also for the kids and my daughter has somewhat of an irrational brain so at certain points she can be completely terrified of something quite simple and at other times it's like something terrifying and she is not terrified at all but they said like Let's first explain the basics <laughs> before I get you confused. First check up if I'm still filming, which I guess I am. But yes, I am. But yeah, so the prison island was basically like an escape room that you could move around in. So instead of just having one room for I don't know how many people and you have, for example, like I don't know how long, a half an hour or something before you need to get out, before they take you out. No, we had, I guess it was an hour, maybe it's one and a half. I actually have no clue of the time. But we had like a certain set amount of time. It was basically to try to get as many points as possible. We also had like a month record and a year record, I believe. But so you went to the room. You you had a badge there, so our daughter was for the team I was in. She was the key holder. You took your badge, held it in front of the keypad that there was there, and they clocked that way, like which group was in that space. As soon as you went there for like many of the, <laughs> the places, like the time started ticking like right away. So you needed to figure out 
what the planning in the room was and then do that thing before the time was up. So that was at times quite annoying because you had like no clue what was going on. And with me being with my daughter and my cousin, like the, well, not my co cousin, the wife of my cousin. So we had basically like the three of us and many were, many of these rooms were for like the minimum of three people. You'll get in a little bit why it was annoying for us. But my aunt did not join because she is terribly claustrophobic. So yeah, locked in a room, not for her. But you had like games, for example, one was a little bit of like a laser game. You had like a old building with a, fr a few um, laser points on it. Well, targets actually, not laser points, but... And then there were three laser guns mounted on a certain point, And from there you needed to shoot down the targets. So that was fun. But you had like, once you put your badge in front of the door, you had, I believe for that one, it was like a minute to shoot down as much as possible. And then you had a maximum score available. And you basically needed to get as many points as possible throughout the entire thing. You could do them again. So you could like 10 times do the same room to get high score or anything. You could also still skip rooms if you would like. So that was easy for us. You could also decide like in which, in which uh, order you got the room, if I did the rooms. And yeah, if there was another group in the room, you obviously couldn't enter. The only downfall for me and my group at first, my aunt said that it should be like open doors. When we came there, they said like, well, you hold the keypad with the key in front of the, the keypad. It goes open, you enter and the door goes in the lock. I was like, yeah, no. Because I don't know what my daughter wants to do. If she freaks out, you can forget it for the rest of the day. Because, yeah, her brain can work like that. In the end, nothing happened, so thankfully. But yeah, also there were more people that were claustrophobic. For example, I'm just going to call her my cousin, but yeah, again cousin's wife <laughs> and we're like yeah but we have kids with us and stuff my son I wasn't too worried about because he's kind of a cool cucumber <laughs> like that he doesn't give too much but yeah my daughter that can go all different directions so when I asked her like should we close the door or don't shouldn't we and she was like no 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 I was like, okay, well, we don't. Half the time she didn't even want to enter the room. So we're like, yeah, if you're just going to sit in front of the door, hold open the door so I can know where you are. Because <laughs> I'm not going to go in the door, close it up and have her like somewhere in the building. Yeah. But it was somewhat tricky because one of us always needed to be in front of the door. And we're like, yeah, we can try to close the door and see if we can get out. But at the same time, like, what? So we weren't sure if you can only go out once the timer is up or 
like in front and with my daughter half of the time not wanting to even step into the door well we needed to play most of the games with the door open which wasn't always easy because at times obviously there were stuff behind the door but yeah we still had fun so thankfully <laughs> Thankfully, there was that. We also thankfully ended on a thing that my daughter liked very much, so we didn't have a fuss because coincidentally, by accident, let's call that word because otherwise I can go get out of my words. But by accident, we ended up like right next to my dad and his brothers when we got to our last thing they did that and they had like they couldn't enter another door so we needed to wait until their door closed because they wanted to go across the hall directly and they were like yeah pass is blocked I'm like oh no oh no so i looked at my cousin and i was like oh no because my daughter was asking for a little bit to go do the basketball game again because she hadn't tried that. It's like we need to see. It might be that we can't do anymore. She was already starting to almost tear up and we're like, yeah, we're going to see. Door turned red again, very green again. I was like, somebody can enter. So we hold, oh, we're like, yeah, well, try it. Hold a badge in front of the door and we'll see. Thankfully it opened. So we played another game of that. And after that, we couldn't enter anymore. So we're like, phew, crisis averted, we could enter at last. Thankfully, we were a bit slow with starting, so our batch was like a little bit slower. <coughs> but yeah. And yeah, after that, we ended up back again at like the restaurant, bar, area, and we had dinner there, just some simple french fries, and yeah, after that we went home, had a fun time, my uncle and aunt were already seeing that like next year they probably will do it at another, a different point in the year, I think it is because normally it's like somewhat to celebrate my grandparents because they had their wedding anniversary at the 3rd of May or the 4th of May. Not entirely sure, I believe. No, it was the 3rd because we actually normally would have spread their ashes the day after my son was born. Because that would have been their 60th wedding anniversary. But yeah, it was 2020. So I think you know what happened. <laughs> we did it the year later instead. So. But yeah, so they were like, yeah, well, maybe we'll do it next year at a different point in time. Like maybe September or October or something. Because now it was the second year in a row that they couldn't come to our son's birthday. Even though they were almost always available for our daughter's birthday. Because, yeah, she has her birthday in June. So, yeah, they don't have like two weekends close to each other. Because, yeah, my uncle works one weekend, he works, then the other weekend he doesn't. So, yeah, it was like, yeah, it would be nice to also be at our son's birthday. I'm not going, obviously going to not say out his name. So they were like, yeah, we want to join that. And it's already the second year that we're not able because... Yeah, and he normally has his birthday like around the same date. 
because yeah it's normally like the first saturday of may and he has his birthday along with my husband on the second of may so yeah it's like always like the weekend before or the weekend after that we celebrate his birthday but yeah with the birth the year after the weekend after always being like family day it needs to be a week before and yeah then my aunt then my uncle needs to work because he already needs to be at work for off from work for family day so i'm like yeah fine <laughs> But they did get him a gift. They also ended up buying our daughter a gift. But they couldn't do it like online and join it because it wasn't from the same shop. So we got something for her when we got it the family day. Still needs to do it because it was like a unicorn bracelet set. And yeah, she's five. So she's in the age of like everything. Unicorn is perfect. So yeah, she enjoyed that. But yeah, our son uh, got his birthday gift in on Wednesday. I got a call already from my uncle on Tuesday. Like, hey, there's a gift coming from for him. Probably will be arriving on Wednesday. We're like, yeah, well, no issue. I'm just going to put it aside. He's like, yeah, but it's a big box. And I'm like, yeah, so? <laughs> if it's intended for his birthday, he will get it on his birthday. And it also wasn't wrapped, so we decided to wrap it quickly <laughs> for his birthday. Because, yeah, it's a kid. They like to unwrap stuff. <laughs> But yeah, he ended up getting a drum set, like an entire set. It was fun. It was also like toddler sized, so it wasn't too extremely big for him. Can make some noise. <laughs> yeah, he loved it, so I'm happy for him. Ooh, I'm sorry. Sorry I've made you yawn as well. <laughs> yeah, we had a fun family outing. As far as the fact that I hardly got anything done with like the games and stuff. <laughs> because we're, me and my cousin both were like, okay, with half of the things we're like, Okay, we lack brain power to do this. <laughs> and especially with needing to keep an eye open for the door. At times it was like, yeah, well, whatever. And with our daughter being like, not always the most patient. And not always being one to keep doing the same stuff. Or like a couple of times for the same thing and then it's okay. So it's not that we got somewhere like high score or anything. Try to do also like some things in between that she liked, like uh, the basketball game we did a few times because she liked that. She liked the laser game thing. Uh, what else did she like? Normally she loves like the memory game where you need to push the little the different colors of buttons. Didn't want it this time. She was even fussing that she was afraid. I'm like, yeah, but it's the same thing like the story you have at home. And she was like, yeah, no, I'm afraid, I'm afraid. But yeah, there were a lot more buttons. So I get to think that was it. And at many places, it was also like, pretty physical so you needed to basically like squeeze through 
places or anything. And like many times we didn't even get like what the meaning was. So you get like a game over sound and we're like, uh, I just stepped foot in here. Like what? <laughs> or like your time was already over before you even noticed what you were doing or anything. So it was something. <laughs> but yeah, all in all, it was fun. Do you know that my husband's group, so my husband, my son, and two of my cousins, they had no, a few times they had like high scores and stuff, so they did do well. But yeah, we needed to also, as I said, like avoid like the places where you need to have a minimum of three people. Because my husband had luck that as long as my son could stay somewhere or they could basically get him along, that they could just basically do anything because they were with four people. Yeah, me and my little group were with three people and my daughter half of the time didn't even join in. She, yeah, we needed to do the things of like three, two or one person. A few you could do with less, but with well, a few we could do with like the with three of us because if I was able to reach in, hold my foot in front of the door and play along like the pinball thing they had, then it was good. Yeah, I would like to do that again, but then have like a few like adults only, basically, like no fussing with the kids. <laughs> Maybe if we do something like that in the future, our daughter isn't as afraid for anything anymore. Because, yeah, she even has been afraid for the fence at school, so... Her things of being afraid of aren't always logical. So it's like, yeah, I'm not going to hold the door close for her if she doesn't want to. But it made it all a little bit more difficult, to say the least. <laughs> then on Sunday, what did we do on Sunday? Think, think, think. Yeah, I don't think we did much. I think we had just a lazy day. I did some resin work again. Just unmolded it like a little bit before filming and it didn't turn out great this time. <laughs> Made another set of dice, but yeah, I don't know what I did, but somewhere it, did, it went wrong. But husband is already like thinking to get some silicone and to mold things or to make molds ourselves. So he's planning on doing that. I'm like, yeah, well, if you find the stuff, I will try to make it <laughs> fine by me. I'm not against that. <laughs> So, yeah, we're maybe going to do that. In the time I was in the basement for doing, like, the resin making stuff, my husband was walking with the kids to have them move around with a little bit of energy they had. Did some grocery shopping for dinner at the same time because, yeah, we have a supermarket close to us. So it was like, well, then we can walk next to there. And do that and do like the bigger shopping on Monday since we now well starting actually like from next week we can also do our groceries on Monday or at least I can because then our son is going to school and 
yeah, that makes it a lot easier to do like the weekly grocery sh grocery shopping instead of like moving around with a kid because <laughs> that can be annoying at times. <laughs> But yeah, so my husband had a moved holiday. Normally on Sunday, it was the 5th, 4th? Green, work along. What day is it today? It is, it is the 7th. So it was the 5th. Yeah, I was already thinking like, when, what, what day was what? So on the 4th of May, we have here... Uh, which is, I think, like the same as Remembrance Day. And on the 4th, the 4th is, that is the 5th, is Bevrijdingsdag, so Liberation Day. The like date that the Netherlands, like the, the it's seen as like the general date of like liberation for the Netherlands from World War II. Even though the area I live in was actually liberated like half a year before. So the general date is or, or it's celebrating like the end of the World War. It can also be not entirely sure. You know what? I have my laptop right next to me, so I'm going to see it's like if that's the date that also like the last parts of the Netherlands were liberated, or if they it's like the end of the war. Uh, Yeah, it's just a day that uh, celebrated from like the libera liberation from Germany from the Second World War. On the 4th of May, 1945, um, The Germans capitulated, and on the 5th, well, basically, they signed it. <laughs> so, yeah, it's the end of World War II in the Netherlands, but it's also uh, a day where my people stand still at the Great value of freedom, democracy, and human rights. So, yeah. And, yeah, especially since my husband is in the military. If you don't know, he's in the Dutch Navy. That's, yeah, at least I think that's a place like the armed forces where as long as you're not out on a mission it's like a holiday but since it was on a sunday this year they moved it to the monday so on monday he had off then today which is tuesday he had work and then tomorrow he had work he has to work and then Thursday is Ascension Day, it's called, I believe, in English. We call it here Hemelvaartdag. And yeah, then he obviously also has a day off. And then the Friday is like a another day that is added. A brugdag, bridge day. So yeah, he only needs to work two days this week. So yeah, fine with that. 
We also decided that because also my dad is off from work Friday and Thursday, that we are going to drop off the kids at my parents. So that way my parents have two days with the kids, or well, two nights with the kids. We have two nights off, the kids. <laughs> and my dad still has the Sunday to... Yeah, get used to get some peace back. <laughs> and the kids do have a day to like recharge the battery, so to speak. Am I doing this completely wrong? Am I just placing? No, I think I'm doing it right. Or at least I hope so. If not, well, I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> at least I got it now. Yeah, I have the small letter D and the capital D at the same place. And I was like, am I placing them all on these or I'm doing it right or wrong? I think I did it right. Yes, yeah, so uh, Thursday. My husband and I are going to drop off the kids at my parents and then on Saturday we are going to pick them up. So that's nice. It's been a while since we dropped them off for two days. I believe we did that in last year in summer break. We every once in a while drop the kids off for a night to sleep at my parents. Yeah, at times it's nice if you have like a a little bit more extra because yeah we also need to drive like an hour before we even at my parents so if we drop them off in the morning and we go around noon back to our place we're around like one o'clock before we're even starting to do something so yeah yeah most of the time for just like having some fun time, going out to dinner, do the clothes shopping or anything, like stuff we need to do to get without wanting to have the kids around or needing to look at the clock if we drop them off at like that daycare thing they have close to us. Because, yeah, we also don't want to need to keep looking at the clock for that. And stuff like that, so yeah, that's always nice to have a day that you don't need to look at the clock. But yeah, part of me is also like I really have a lot of things like around the house that I want to have done. So part of me is like, can we do that? But at the same time, I'm like, yeah, my husband has off next week. When the kids are at school. It's not that you can go somewhere for like the entire day because yeah you need to drop them off at like 8 30. you also need to pick them up at three so yeah it is nice if you're like somewhat close and yeah then we can also do like the chores around the house so to speak. Yeah, so it's a little bit of like a what to do, what to do kind of thing. <laughs> but yeah, I'm sure we'll find something. So yeah, like the Wednesday for me will be time lapse filming instead of having date night as usual because we will be moving date night to Thursday and Friday. So we also have an extra. But yeah, three in a row might be a bit much. <laughs> but yeah. What else? Yeah, I also had a sick day this week. <laughs> so Monday, yesterday for me. Woke up. 
got out of bed pretty late. I slept awful that night. I don't know why, but I couldn't stay asleep. Like every few minutes, it felt like I was back awake. So yeah, that was kind of tiring. So my husband was like, yeah, stay in bed. Lay down easy for a little bit. Then uh, he brought me my breakfast in bed, which was nice. So it was like, yeah, you can shower right after, so you don't need to keep walking up and down and doing everything. Which I was grateful for. Not that I can walk up and down the stairs, but still. That's a thought that counts. Because, yeah, I still needed to do my medication in the morning, which I didn't like, as per usual. But yeah, I did my medication that I do need to do in the evening, so yeah, I needed to wash it out in the morning with different medication. And yeah, after that I did a little bit of the chores around the house. And after that I started to feel bad, like really bad. My stomach hurt, I had a headache from I don't know what. Felt nauseous all of a sudden. I was like, ugh, I got a rat. So yeah, yesterday was a bad day for me. So I ended up staying like most of the night in bed. My husband did need to do some grocery shopping, so he went to the supermarket and I was downstairs in that meantime, but for most of the day, I was upstairs. Thankfully, today I felt a lot better because, yeah, husband did need to go to work. Also, the kids had their gym class today, so I was like, yeah, I'm not wanting to feel sick today because, yeah, that's bad timing. I still want them to go because then they can burn off some energy. But yeah, thankfully I feel better today. <laughs> not like 100% normal, but at least better and not sick. Because otherwise I wouldn't be filming today. <laughs> So yeah, also on Sunday, my husband had his D&D group, which he enjoyed very much. I made some stuff for him, like with my resin work. So we took that. The group liked that as well, so that was nice. So I can keep making that stuff. <laughs> it's like the sort of like mood rings for the characters or something. <laughs> So yeah, making some like test things to see like color wise and anything because sometimes you have a bottle that says a certain color and then you make it and I'm like, yeah, no, that doesn't look like that color. So I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to make, I got a like puzzle, an alphabet puzzle mold a bit ago. Because we're like, yeah, that can be fun, if not for nothing else, maybe then for the kids around their school back or something or whatever. It ended up a bit too too long to make their names with and hang on the school bag because, yeah, their names are five letters long. And each thing is like, what, two centimeters or something? Two, two and a half, so give or take an inch. In case you count with inches. <laughs> So yeah, that was a little bit much, but yeah, it was like I can make like my test things with that. So bit by bit I'm making those. But yeah, my husband enjoys his little D&D group, so I love it for him. It's not my thing. Oh yeah, let's be honest, diamond painting is also not his thing, and 
he patiently patiently keeps listening to me ramble on about diamond pinning so yeah i can patiently listen to him ramble on about D, &D. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit of give and take <laughs> And it also gives me something to do. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's about it. Because today not much happened. I did some, uh, I think it's called plaster. Like you mix it with a little bit of water, put it in molds. And then tomorrow I can take it out of the molds. And my daughter can paint it. We did that today. <coughs> Sorry. Kids had their gym class, even though it was like really quiet. We had two teachers, but seven kids. So it was like, hmm, nice. But it was fun. Kids enjoyed it was a lot less screaming and yelling also so my head thought that was nice because sometimes when we get home i directly have a headache because yeah sometimes they go up to like 30 kids and yeah that's quite a lot <laughs> obviously but yeah I think I'm going to leave it here for today because I feel like I'm even rambling more than I usually do. <laughs> and yeah, I'm always rambling, so it says a lot about how rambly I feel now. So yeah, uh, also quick reminder, if you haven't voted already for my little vote that is up on my community tab for the uh, help me spend my youtube money please still vote there there are just 22 people that voted so please go over and vote if you want to as long as it's before the 31st of may when you watch this <laughs> if it's after it might already be closed up and have another one opened or it's already done and dusted depending on when in the future you will watch this <laughs> yeah as i said it would help me out a lot uh, if you would like to vote so i would all know what you guys would like to see on the channel and it's also like a little bit as a thank you for you to help me decide because yeah it's all thanks to you if you are so kind to watch the ads that are like in the videos and stuff it is very much appreciated and yeah all the money that i make for youtube with youtube all like the few cents that i make <laughs> those will be going directly back into the channel so that's why i also decided to have the first money decided by you as sort of like a thank you gift that you can decide obviously not everybody this <laughs> votes on the same thing so it might be that the one you vote for does not end up getting picked but I will probably do something in the future again with like something different. So yeah. As of for now, the topic is a new to me company. So if you have a suggestion, please let me know either here in the comment section or under the video of under the post. That can also. And yeah, with that being said, I'm going to leave it at this. I'm going to finish this little bit of pink off screen. And then I have just two more colors today, but yeah, I'm feeling kind of 
tired. <laughs> so yeah, as I said, I'm going to leave it at this. I'm going to stand up for this. Huh. A little over an hour. <laughs> so that's nice. So again, as I said, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. As I think you have heard many people say, it helps the YouTube algorithm push stuff around and all the things. And if you hear the meowing, that's Lucia again. <laughs> but yeah, please consider giving this video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already and you're still here, I think you like my rambling. And yeah, if you did, you might consider subscribing to hear, to listen to more of my rambles. And yeah, with that all being said, again, do all the YouTubey stuff. Leave a comment if there's anything you want me to know or you want to ask. Seriously, cat, you still need to wait an hour. <laughs> but yeah, as I said, leave a comment if there's anything you would like me to know or that you would ask me. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. But yeah, if it's nighttime for me, then it might take a little bit longer because yeah, there's something like sleep. <laughs> But yeah, with that being said, guys, I'm going to let you go. Well, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, and all the fun stuff. And I hope to see you in a next video. Have a wonderful rest of your day, night, week, whatever applies. And I hope to see you soon. Bye!